Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to share five fantastic tips and tricks for your iPad that you probably aren't using, but should. We pay a lot of money for our iPads, so it is wise to learn as much as possible so as to enhance your use of the iPad. Now, in this video, I'll be using an iPad Pro 9.7 inches, but you can certainly use all these tips for any iPad. Let's dive right in. All right, so the first tip has to do with enabling restrictions on your iPad that's going to prevent other people that you hand your iPad to uh, from not being able to access certain functionality on your iPad. So let me show you what I mean. What you want to do is you want to go into the settings and then you want to go to in general and go to restrictions. So the first time you go in there, it's going to ask you to enable restrictions. You tap this button and you pick a passcode. Now this passcode is not the same passcode you use to unlock your iPad. This is a passcode you're going to pick specifically for the restrictions menu. So let's just pick something here, 000. It asks you to put in twice. So now it's enabled. So how do you use it? So let's say, let's go back out really quick. And let's say there's Safari here and camera and FaceTime. Let's say you gave your iPad to somebody, perhaps your friend, perhaps a child, and you don't want them to access the internet, the camera, or FaceTime. What you do is you go to the settings and you go back into restrictions. And every time you go in there, you have to put your password, which makes sense. Uh, you're the only one that can modify this. And you simply disable access to Safari, camera, and let's say FaceTime. When you go back out, those apps are locked out and only you can go back into the restrictions and re-enable them. All right, this is absolutely fantastic. Now that's the first block. The second block mostly is about purchasing applications and deleting applications. So again, if you give your iPad to your friend or perhaps a child, uh, the child could just go nuts and start to download all kinds of games that could cost you a lot of money. So what you wanna do is you wanna prevent them from installing applications even deleting applications and also performing in-app purchases. So all those three things are disabled so you will be safe. Nobody's gonna go crazy with your iPad. And of course the same thing applies to all these things. Nobody can go to the iTunes store and start to buy music. And if you scroll down there's a lot of other things you can do. For example, just one example here because there's a lot to go. Uh, do you want people to allow changes to your accounts when you give them your iPad? It might even be a mistake. So what you want to do is you want to go to the accounts and you should say don't allow changes. So nobody can modify your mail accounts, your contacts or your calendars by mistake. And when you do disable something, you'll see a little lock icon right next to that option. Okay, and there's a lot more here to go over, but uh, that's something I want you guys to take a look at. And of course, if you ever want to turn off the restrictions, you simply tap on disable restrictions. Uh, put your passcode and you're done. All right, let's move on to the next tip. The next tip pertains to a secret menu that you can enable that can float about on the screen and it gives you a lot of functionality. So go into the settings, go to general and go to accessibility. Once you're in the accessibility, go to assistive touch and simply enable it. And suddenly you're gonna see a beautiful little menu that just can be anywhere on the screen that you want. Now, what can this menu do? This menu replicates a lot of functions uh, that you can normally do by pressing the home screen button or pinching the screen. So let me show you. So if we tap it, a radial menu just pops up and you can use this button as the home button, okay? So instead of pressing this button here, you can tap this and press the home button. It serves the same function. Or if you wanna launch Siri, you press and hold, Siri comes up, right? Let's get out. You can do the same thing from here. You tap here and Siri just came up. And of course you can do much more than that. If you tap this, you can actually bring down, bring up the control center just by tapping that. So this is the control center. So instead of swiping up, you tap this, you tap this and it comes right up. You can do the same thing with the notifications panel. So here's the notifications panel. I just pulled it down or I can tap this, tap this and it comes right down. Fantastic. Now, of course, there's a little bit more to do. If you tap this thing one more time, you can go into the custom settings or device settings. If you go into device settings, it allows you to lock the screen, rotate the screen, you know, increase or decrease the volume if you want, and you can even tap more, and it allows you to bring up multitasking, okay? So normally you double press this, and multitasking comes up. 
But with this button, you can do a lot of things without tapping and pinching. Now let me go back into settings, show you one more thing about this menu. Uh, basically, this is called the top level menu. You can go in here and you can customize the top level menu so you can put their things that you think you need. All right. And you can play a little bit more with this. But again, you get the idea. So let's disable this and move on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip has to do with securing your notifications such as text messages, missed phone calls, or even emails from prying eyes. So let me go into the messages really quick right here and send myself a message. And then you're gonna see that I'm gonna get a notification. So if you do not read the notification, it goes away after a while, but it's always sitting in your notifications panel until you take a look at it. So what I wanna demonstrate is when you lock your iPad, and right now it's locked, so the only way somebody can enter this is you uh, with your pin code or your fingerprint sensor. But if somebody swipes this down, they have access to all the notifications anyway, even though your iPad is locked. So what I'm going to show you is how to hide this information from the lock screen. So let me just go back in here and go into the settings. And then I want you guys to go into touch ID and passcode. Uh, go back in and then put your passcode in. Let me put mine right now. And there we go. So what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down and look at this thing. Allow access when locked. You basically wanna uh, prevent any of these from being accessed when your screen is locked. Maybe you can access Siri, but all these other things should be locked so nobody can access them. So let me go back out here, right? And, and pull this down one more time. As you can see, again, this is here, you know, Saki is saying, hey, how are you? This is a private message. Now, if I lock the iPad and just turn it on, it's still locked. I go back and it's inaccessible. I cannot pull down the notifications panel. All right, what a great feature. So again, if I go back, nobody has access to my notifications anymore uh, when my iPad is locked, which I think is how it should be for all iPads, just for the sake of privacy. All right, so you get the idea with that one, and let's move on to the next tip. The next tip actually also has to do with security. If you go back into settings, go right back into that same menu, and when you're inside, I want you guys to go over here. Require passcode, make sure this is picked to be immediately, but the biggest thing is, when you go to change the passcode, now let me put my old passcode in, I highly recommend you go into passcode options and choose instead of a six digit pin or a four digit pin, go into a custom alphanumeric code. Now that's gonna allow you to put an advanced password such as you can go like, like that and you can put in uh, numbers and symbols and that could be your alphanumeric password. Now, obviously, do not put something you're not gonna remember, but you can actually make it more hard to guess. And that's the whole point of security. You have to make your passwords very, very hard to guess. You don't want somebody putting in your birth date and then boom, your iPad is unlocked. Okay, so that's one option you have to further secure your device. Now, let's move on to the final tip. Uh, let's say you want to create some secure notes. Maybe you want to create a, a note that actually is a password or perhaps it's just a secure document for your business. You can do that. It's already built into the iPad. So let me quickly show an example. Let's go to the notes. And here I have all different folders, right? And you just create folders by tapping new folder. So let me go into the secure docs and let me just create a note by tapping this and say this note should be locked and then all you do is tap this button uh, say lock note and it's going to ask you to put your password in this is the same password you use to actually unlock your ipad so let me put mine in and then you click ok and that note is now locked so let me go back out let me exit the notes application completely uh, go back into the notes and let me try to access go to secure docs over here and you cannot view, it says this note is locked, okay? If you click it, what you can do is you can use your fingerprint to unlock it or manually enter your password. Let me just do the fingerprint sensor. And as you can see, now it's available. So this is a great way to tuck away some secure documents right on your notes application. All right, so that was the final tip. 
Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.